Hi, and welcome back to this week's edition of Hawk Talk. I'm Colter Hickok. I'm Dallas Mitchell. And it's honestly been the precedent before I've been a host here on Hawk Talk, but Coach Dan, we've had you set the kind of mood for Hawk Talk throughout the years. So we have Coach Pete Stan for the inaugural 2022-2023 Hawk Talk season. Coach, how's it going? It's going great. Thanks for having me. Excited to get uh, another year kicked of off course, with you guys. yeah. Not only are you the head football coach at DSU, you're the athletic director, and I know you have a bunch of nieces and nephews running around Dickinson. Do you have any free time? Not a whole lot. <laughs> but that's okay. We uh, we keep pretty busy. You know, I, I uh, you know we watch family and get a chance to do that, and and uh, you know it's really kind of what I've been involved with for a long time. So I'm kind of used to that, and, and and really enjoy that. And you know, even though it's busy, it's just uh, neat to be able to get to all the events and meet all the great people, and you know our our student athletes and having over 400 of the only sometimes I feel bad about is a whole new group comes in and trying to learn everybody's <laughs> name but sometimes you don't get a chance to see them very much but but it's been really good I enjoy it hopefully some future Blue Hawks in the family we're hoping so speaking hoping. of two nieces playing softball can you tell us a little about about the new complex being built right next to the BAC yeah, we're really excited about that we're you know we're getting down to where we have a couple weeks to go uh, with the turf and they're gonna start in on the turf and by the end of the calendar a year where that the softball portion of it uh, to be completed if you uh, people from Dickinson get a chance to drive by and check that out it's it's really neat and great progress is being made and it's something that's a long time uh, coming so we're gonna have a little uh, ceremony in October uh, with that we have a Hall of Fame softball team that's coming in one of the top softball teams in the history of our school they're coming in and then the goal is to, to play softball uh, next March so we're really excited about that and then soccer another year from now so it's been exciting Exciting and and uh, as you both know, I'm now having a, we've got a conference tournament move to Dickinson yep. State, so we're going to have a conference tournament next year, and the WDA for the high school is going to be there. So just a lot of exciting things due to the you know support of our city, our county, and so many private groups and, and individuals to make it happen. And just to clarify, um, Blue Hawk fans and anyone who wants to, they can watch a live stream of the complex being built on our website, correct? Correct, okay. you're at, correct. Jay Dunn uh, has that up on, on their site and, and they can uh, get get to a link there and uh, check to see really daily where everything is at and really gonna start seeing a lot of changes this month uh, with uh, you know the, the turf going down and the base work uh, in all four of those fields and uh, the press box and the locker rooms being built. You're gonna see a lot of changes this month and it's exciting. Well, I mean, that's cool because I didn't even know about that. <laughs> so, now you know. So, like, at the very end, when it, everything's all complete, are they going to come out with, like, a time-lapse video? Because that would get a lot of views. Yeah, yeah. It will have something like that. But, you know, really, by the end of December, mo most of the softball area should should be completed and like I said the the soccer is going to be another year just for that grass to mature and get ready but the plan is our opening game for for our women's softball at the end of next March will be the opener and it's going to be really exciting very cool so since you are the head football coach uh, can you give us a little insight on how fall camp went it, it went really well we had a large number of, of guys this year over 120 so it was a little different year that way because we although we had a lot of returners we have almost 40 new athletes oh, wow. so trying to get everybody together and get them on the same page was was different but uh, our older guys really do a good job of leading and helping those guys along so yeah it, it, it went uh, you know the camp part of it went well we uh, kind of used to that routine and uh, we have a bunch of veteran guys so it worked out well we got to end it in a pretty fun way going over to the West River Community Center yes we did and there's a couple speaking of a couple good videos from that one, there's a couple <laughs> good videos out there uh, you know lifeguards diving into the to the pool and things like that but uh, who, who uh, anybody in particular yeah, maybe maybe a guy that we know on the set that could do that. Oh. Yeah, it was it was a good way to end the, the camp and have the guys go in and cool off and do do something like that and you know be able to bond together and get to know more more of our guys and that's you know really what we really work on a lot. 
Yeah, so a big shout out to the West River Community Center. I mean, <laughs> without them, I mean, we couldn't have those fun videos that you had mentioned. I wonder who that guy is. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe it's on Twitter. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so we do ask you some fun questions here on Hawk Talk, Coach. Um, so Carson Wentz, a North Dakota native, uh, played school over at Bismarck Century, then went over to North Dakota State, played for the Eagles, played for the Colts, but now he's playing for the Commanders. And I understand that the Commanders are a uh, favorite team of yours. Uh, how do you how do you feel about having well, Carson? You know, and going back, the Commanders, you know, used to be the the Redskins, and back in the you know the 80s when I was younger, and they had a you know, believe it or not for the young viewers, they were actually very good at one time. <laughs> but it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been it's been a lifetime almost. <laughs> um, but now it's since since about the 1990s, it's been a really rough go for the Commanders. But I, I think it's a good move for. For them, I know uh, you know. Obviously, he's a, he's a guy, a high character guy, and done well. I know some of the people are hard on him. Some of you Colts fans that are always looking for something better uh, are a little hard on Carson. But I, I didn't think, say uh, that. <laughs> yeah, but, but Carson, I, he, I think he'll do a good job uh, of leading them. It's just they just don't have a lot of things around him um, that he's going to have to really deal with. And then another fun question I just thought of off the top of my head: If you were uh, any type of tree, what type of tree would you want to be? Boy, I don't, I don't know that question. <laughs> I'm not. I'll have, have to. I'll have to think about that one, Coulter. All right. Okay. You just come back to me. I'll talk I'll, to you. Yeah, practice. we can do that. Yeah, either at the end of the year or next year, we can do that. <laughs> give me time. Sounds good. So, some back to football questions. Uh, so, the Hawks are still ranked at number 16. Montana Western, they're ranked at 17. Uh, what can the fans expect out of this game coming up this weekend? You know, Western's a good team. They, you know, they won the conference. They won the Frontier Conference last year. Uh, they were in the national playoffs like we were. You know, last year we, we you know, we led. Uh, at halftime, actually, right before halftime, had a chance to go up three scores, and we're up two scores, and they came back and and beat us. Uh, you know, so they're a very good team. They have the Player of the Year back, uh, you know, in, in the conference uh, from at Western, and they they return a lot of guys like we do. So, going on the road too is tough. They have a good atmosphere there. So yeah, we expect it to be. But we want that want it to be that way. You know, we played Black Hills the first game, and and uh, you know, just we didn't we didn't finish like we needed to finish. I've never coached in a game I think where we run 83 plays and don't score um, for one reason or another and, and we just have to clean those things up and do a do a better job but that's kind of the goal with our offseason or our, our non-conference games too we want to play the best teams and see where we're at and, and try to get better and that's going to be that case uh, with West I think it'll be a good matchup but you know we're going to have to play well and and uh, it's just good to play teams like that though. Oh, yeah, I guess it's also still my question, too. I forgot about that. So then with such a big part of our roster being from Montana, what does it mean to have all these Montana guys going to play back in Montana? Yeah, I think they are, they enjoy that. I believe we're like 42 or 45 Montana guys on the, on the team and, you know, we're a lot of Western Montana guys, too. So, you know, their families are back there, and we have players from Bozeman and, and Hamilton and, and, and um, Kalispell and wherever, wherever it would be and Billings. And, yeah, I think it would be nice for them to – their parents are close and then you know the thing with that too is they're going to know a lot of those guys on the, the other team and makes for a fun game to, to be able to do that so it's always it's always good that way absolutely I know I'm excited to go and watch yeah yeah and so there's a guy from Laurel on their team too yeah I, I forgot who it is if yeah. I'm honest with you. <laughs> Yeah. So our final question for you today, something that I think separates DSU from a lot of universities in the country is just the Blue Hawk bond that we have. So for anyone watching who's thinking about coming to DSU, what's something you'd like to say to them? Yeah, I, I think just like you said, I think it's a family atmosphere and it's not just within a program. I think it's all the way across the board. I mean, if you look at like just start looking at our football game last week and, uh, you know, you have a, a huge group for the tailgate and in the suites and in the stands and you look back and you see the students are doing you know are that doing those things together and I think that's that's part of it I think also the second thing is just community um, you just did the support being second to none I we mentioned this the softball the complex and the you know the sport the soccer comp part, part of it is just second to none on the, the support uh, that the community uh, gives to you and I think you know I, I think you look at the camaraderie of the the teams and I think that starts with the coaches we have uh, the coaches all support each other and the, the, the different coaches are at all the different events for each other and I think uh, you know that you set that you set that lead and then we have a you know great number of faculty that are invested uh, with what 
what we're doing and President Easton and his leadership. And I think those are all things that I think just create that family atmosphere. You're going to come to a place where people are going to care about you. Um, there's a lot of pride. There's a lot of tradition. And and uh, when people care about you and, you, and, you, and, you, and you're motivated to work hard and do those things, I think it just helps them regardless of what the sport you're, you're playing. And then also have an opportunity to, to get a good degree and do that. And, and it's all, all, a, all a good thing. Perfect. Well, Coach, thank you very much for coming on. I mean, you set it off. You set the season off. So we are always happy to have you on here. So thank you very much, and thanks for always keeping me humble. You know, <laughs> I really much appreciate it. Thanks for having me, and thanks for for you two both doing this. It's a great thing for for our community and our school, and you guys continue to do great things. So thanks for doing that. Awesome, thank Coach. You. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome to the 2021-2022 school year at Dickinson State University. The DSU Heritage Foundation is excited to bring the Blue Hawk Scholarship Fund to the DSU campus. The Blue Hawk Scholarship Fund is comprised of your general and sports specific giving, name scholarships, advertising, sponsorship of athletic programs, endowments, and program greatest needs support. Made possible by you, the Blue Hawk Scholarship Fund and the DSU Heritage Foundation will award over $700,000 in athletic support for the 2021-2022 school year. Donate to the Blue Hawk Scholarship Fund today. Visit us online at dsuheritagefoundation.org and help support Blue Hawk athletes in the classroom, in competition, and in our community. Come soar with the Hawks. Abby Clute, and I'm here with Jacob Marley. And we're here with Crew Madden, Defensive Player of the Week in the NSAA, uh, number 94, starting DN, and local town, Dickinson, North Dakota. So being a local athlete, you played here in high school, so how's the transition been coming to college? You know, it's great coming from your hometown in high school. I feel like I have a lot of support here, I have a lot of connections. Um, it's always nice to see the friends from high school, the coaches from high school come to the games. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So, like, being the Defensive Player of the Week in the conference, um, what kind of, like, did you do to prepare to win that? Um, well, first of all, we had a pretty good game plan, defensive game plan going into that game from Coach Thier and Coach Stan. Um, practice, the scouts helped us a lot. Um, mm -hmm. We gave a good look at practice. Uh, and then just watching film, you know, yep. get home, watch film. Mm -hmm. So how did it feel when you actually won the award? Like, were you kind of shocked or what? I was kind of shocked when I got it. Uh, I know there was another player in North Star had a pretty good game too, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, feel, I feel honored to get it, so, but I was, I was shocked to get that. Awesome. So when you're sitting in the locker room, what are some of your pregame rituals? So the first one I always do is I get a rain orange creamsicle from the gas station over there. <laughs> always have to get that, and then I always get the wild berry Skittles, and then I always play one song um, as, like, my pregame before I go out there, so. What is that one song? It's I Love. You just listen to one song pregame? Well, I listen to multiple songs, but before I go out of the tunnel, <laughs> oh, I also want to get my earphones. Okay, like that's the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, what are kind of some of your personal goals here at DSU? Like, what are you looking to achieve? Well, first one is to graduate. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, second one is just to have fun, uh, be a good role model, be a good leader for the young guys. Yeah. All right. So on Saturday, the Blue Hawks travel to Montana Western in Dillon, Montana. What are some of your predictions for that game? Uh, my prediction is we're going to win that game. Amen to that. It's a good goal. <laughs> yes, it is. And how are you feeling going into that game? I feel pretty good. I think we're feeling pretty confident. Uh, we get we had a game plan yesterday. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's some things we can do with our offense to disrupt them. Mm -hmm. So uh, I feel pretty confident. So watching your game from last Saturday, you had a few sacks and seven solo tackles. So you yep. want to show us your post sack, Sully? Yes, I will. So all I do, <laughs> I don't know where this came from. It just kind of came ahead one day. Or, Take a fist like this, and you just hit your helmet with it, just like that. That is so creative. <laughs> Off camera question: You already have three and a half sacks this season. Last season, you had seven sacks. What does it mean to already be halfway to the last season's goal? Uh, it's kind of wild, you know. I, I did not expect to get that many sacks. Uh, Trying to set a record or something? Or? If it happens, it happens. I don't know. I'll just I do whatever I can to try to get the wins for the team. So.